What's up, people? Slag Girl here, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Prom. The game where you get to seduce monsters, at, or, in a, or at least attempt to seduce them, otherwise you'll get your heart in fucking your rejected. It's, shut the fuck up. And I, <laughs> as you can hear, I'm here with the Ren again. Hi. Hey, oh. Nobody likes you. Okay, let's play. <laughs> full game, full game. Yeah. We heard that shit. I'm going back with my guy. I'm still naming myself Kai. <laughs> You're so salty. You're so salty. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> you failed last time. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna gut you. <laughs> I'm going with my girl again. I. Boy, nah. <laughs> Let's start a Also fire. technically true. Yeah. We all heard this before. Bah. But yeah, if you didn't notice last time, this one ended up losing Damien from- We still can't figure out why. <laughs> and somehow I managed to get with Fishwife. The lewd ending. <laughs> still can't get over that. This was recorded probably like 10 minutes after we- yeah. Keep in mind. Yeah. So I'm, my mind is still blown. Yeah. You get anyway, it. Anyway, on to the actual game. <laughs> you get a chance to produce a movie. It's based on the most oh, influential boy, Russian. That is. I don't want to read all this. <laughs> Although I am. I just scan all of them and I'm immediately drawn to the bottom. Two guys walking away from rad explosion and they don't look at the explosion. They don't give a fuck about the explosion. They reflect on life and love. But it is super dope and kick ass because they do so walking away from never any explosion. Then, bye. Touche. <laughs> you want that one too? Nah. Middle one. Middle? Yeah. I am a romantic at heart. <laughs> Not me. So wealthy. <laughs> what is your spirit emoji? Oh god. Octopus emoji set best animal on earth. I know a fight. If I mix drinks, three drug cocktails, and 17 sex positions that involve one or several octopi, Jesus Christ. 17 sex positions, I don't want to know. That's Polly right there. Caucasian guy with the turban because fuck stereotypes. Stolen because that motherfucker is in the middle of a blizzard and he's fucking smiling. He doesn't give a fuck about blizzards and he's got his kick ass hat. That's Damien. <laughs> yeah. oh, I think you accidentally clicked the wrong one. No, I did it. I went like this. I clicked it and went up. Oh. I'll go with the top one. The top one? Yeah. <laughs> so fun. What's the sexiest type of knowledge a lover can have? All that the principles to build a financial empire, lyrics to all of Disney songs, how to make a killer cocktail out of anything, sport things, how to set stuff on fire, obscure 80s movie trivia. I already know how to answer this one. I'm getting Damien's heart, god fucking damn it. <laughs> I still can't believe you lost last time. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Lyrics to all the Disney songs. To be fair, I would no. normally pick that one too. I would pick that one too. <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting to me its heart. Alright! God damn it! Alright! Yeah, god damn it! Uh, let's see. Have fun! That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. <laughs> I have to look cool while doing it. There's montages you know everywhere. <laughs> You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Alright. You notice Sky and there Damien waving their phones in each other's faces and decide to take a look. As you get closer, you realize they're discussing Pokemon's oh, Go. The mobile, oh, God. <laughs> the mobile ba game based on the hit television show Pocket Human. Awesome, bro. Whoa, you got Walter Jacobs? Those are so rare. <laughs> you bet your ass I do. And check it out. His fiscal responsibility stat is 11. He's a fucking beast at doing his taxes. This puts a lot into his perspective. <laughs> I heard he's lactose intolerant, though. <laughs> yeah. I feed him nothing but cheese pizza to the fuck with him. He hates it. It's not so me. 
That's not very nice. I'm super nice to my Leslie Dunbar. Fuck you, you got a Lindsay Dunbar? The queen of insurance liability magic? Yeah, I had to trade too many Babcocks and a Jared Fogel to get her, but it was so worth it. That's nothing. You got a Pokemon so rare, it'll send them both in the shop. You whip out your phone and show them your... Now that is what I'm talking about. I didn't even know they made Pokemans like this. Oh, what type is this? What have you done? <laughs> You'll see. What have you done? We'll see. Criminal type? Why the fuck did no one tell me this isn't the game? Whoa, Damien, calm down. You're shaking your phone and it's upsetting Walter Jacobs. Fuck Walter Jacobs. I'm getting myself a scab wreck. Red car, and he's gonna murder all my other Pokemans. Yo, no, <laughs> yo, I'd offer to trade you my whole roster for that mean son of a bitch, but all my Pokemons are obviously lame as hell. And hell is pretty lame. Why do you think I'm up here all the time? He Tell you what. invite her to your place. He did. Tell you what, I'll beat up the loser of your choice, free of charge, if you hook me up with that mighty bastard. Why not? You never know when a free beatdown might come in handy. You lose one uh, scabs right a car, but you gain plus two creativity, plus one boldness. Let's do this. There we go. All right, let's see what I have. Your stats are right there. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay, I definitely need more in the creativity section. So off to the auditorium. Off to the library? No. <laughs> <laughs> that day while rehearsing for class, it's as if Here the, comes this line again. <laughs> the muses themselves had decided to give you. Figuratively, oral sex. The performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Crying? Huh? Is the school crying? Maybe. After your eavesdropping on Miranda and Polly, waiting for the perfect moment to mention your influx of Insta follows. Greetings, my loves. Oh no. My other bay is here. You're voicing all these characters, I'm saying that right now. I know. Never fear, my ladies. <laughs> you need not fight over me. Uh, get out that of here. Hey, stick with it. Him again? As a royalty myself, I must say that I even I find him to be... What's the term you use, Paulina? Extra AF. Friendship between two beautiful maidens should be soured over one as handsome, rich, and humble as I. I you say, ain't rich, only bud. Bragging about myself. <laughs> you ain't handsome. Fuck off. Wow. Excuse you. <laughs> but worry not, my sweet summer salads. I have found the perfect solution to protect both your feeble hearts. You shall both marry me. I've dealt with male entitlement before, but this officially next level. Yes, an interdimensional level, as our collective wedding will be as well. Shut the fuck up. Look at, look at Miranda's face. I know, it's great. Just that, it's a face of total disgust at my face as this guy tries to marry him. <laughs> yeah, not interested. You are hardly the first prince to seek my royal hand in courtship, and I don't see that you're bringing much to the table. <sighs> Interdimensional table, and I am the definition of marriage material. Said no one ever. Said me. No one ever. <laughs> You'll never find a better suitor. I have a castle. I could defeat anyone at anything. I'll show you. I'll fight. Them. Oh, God. Um, is the interdimensional princey pointing directly at you? Why is your Why life, is like, my this? life like this? <laughs> I can defeat you at any challenge. Name your weapon and prepare to lose. Oh, shut the fuck up, princey. Miranda and Polly are watching you closely. Maybe you can skew the princess challenge to really impress one of them. Alright, what are you gonna do? It, I kind of wish this happened later on, that way you would have better stats, so who knows where this is going to go. I feel like the first one is bold. I don't know, though. I definitely know you just better... the first one's bold, and that's what I'm going with. You're going to go with that one? Because I know that last one's going to be bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, so fun. That one was fun. Very well. If that's what you wish, then so be it. 
Both you and the prince quickly undress, thus giving your respective weasel am ample fleshy targets. Oh god. You both grab the <laughs> nearest- Look at girls' faces right now! <laughs> They're so happy to be watching They're this! Oh, uh, they probably like what they see, if anything. No, yeah. especially knowing Polly. You both mm -hmm. grab the nearest five weasels and take the traditional weasel fighting stance. And uh, what stance is that? What stance is that? Are you holding the weasels by the ass too? They're just swinging at each other? God damn! <laughs> On the count of 100? No! <laughs> One, We're gonna be here two. a while. <laughs> just go! <laughs> Normally, the princey's years and years of royal swordplay trading would have defeated you in seconds. But fighting with Muslid is a weasel. is a weasel of different color. You've defeated opponents with polecats, ferrets, and mints? Minx. Minx? I don't think I've seen that. I might have, I just never knew spelling. Anyway, and the, <laughs> and the prince is no exception. We leave him staggering and bleeding from many teeny tiny bite marks across his naked body. Oof. Ouch. Can't he then puts his- <laughs> God damn. I'm gonna demonetize all your videos and you know it. Thank god I don't get money to He then put his clothes back on and defeated the main air because... Or basically because we have no model, model of him naked. That's the second time someone said that. Curse you, cat snake! Your long furry body and sharp little teeth are adorable and painful! Again, kinky. <laughs> I kind of wish they just had like a sprite where there's at least bite marks on his face. Yeah. Or at least one bite mark, that would be hilarious. So wild! I love weasel. You're pretty cool, Ren. You you cut off when you said fencing, so it just sounded like you said I love weasel. Yep. With that, Princey disappears, leaving you and your weasel to hit on your fellow high schoolers in peace. You can plus two charm and plus one fun. I That's just. I, I wish I could romance the prince. Honestly, I think you can. I actually, think you can. I don't. I haven't figured out how yet. Yeah, th there's an ending where you can- there's a secret ending where you can romance the shopkeeper, so... You can romance fucking anyone in this game. Everyone choose something cool. Ice. Jack's up to go. <laughs> oh, it got me there. You know what? I changed my crank game plays. You can't change your mind. I changed it! I changed it! I changed it! Fuck you. <laughs> How awesome it would be if Japan built bending machines that so <laughs> I think I win this. Yeah, can you just imagine a vending machine in Japan with, that has a bunch of, like, jack... Mini what jacksepticeyes. A, I know, I know, a bunch of jacksepticeyes, probably even, like, oh man, I want that now, like, and even, like, they're plushies, maybe. Who knows, or, but like, they also... little mini, like, egos. Jacksepticeyes. <laughs> yeah. The clothes for the I egos. I win this. Yeah, you, win, win, you win that. Nothing against you, Ethan, but still. Let's do this. All right. Hmm. Who is that? This one? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Well, I'm going for Polly in this run, so I guess I'll sit with her and Scott. Oh God, Scott. Scott and Polly are sitting together, laughing their metaphorical asses off. To Damien, to Damien! Grrr, I'm Damien! Look at my stupid red face! I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to reverse a toxic version of masculinity, which has alienated me from my own true emotions. Hey, don't talk shit about Damien. <laughs> <laughs> you sound exactly like him. Okay, okay, you do Vera. <laughs> I'm Vera, I'm very smart, my hair is pretty, and all my friends look up to me because I am strong, independent woman. Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I'm not Scott, I'm Vera, you can tell because I said my name just now. Okay, what about you, Ren? Got any good impressions? Just one, but it's a real doozy. You know what I gotta choose here? Woof woof. No. I'm going for Polly, man. 
I've gotten oh. this prop before, and I don't remember which is which. Yeah, like, if I did Scott, would that mean Polly would be amused? I think so. Yeah. Because you're not mocking Scott. her. Yeah. I don't remember. Let's just go with it. Yep. I know you're doing an impression of me because you said my name, but... Oh my god, that sounds exactly like him! It does? Yeah! Remember that time we took that impressions class together and we had to introduce ourselves? Oh yeah! I guess I did say woof woof, it's me Scott, a dog boy who's bad at impressions. But I didn't yell like that! I'm sorry, are you the real Scott? There's two absolutely identical werewolves in front of me, and I can't tell the difference! Polly insists on the smooching contest to determine who the real Scott is. You end up winning in more ways than one. Wink, wink. Oh, Alright. Nice. Nice. All right. Get the again. fuck over here. <laughs> <laughs> you find Damien oh God, and Vera hunched over a scale model of spooky national bank made of milk cartons, lunch trays, and ketchup packets. All right, we'll go in through the side entrance. My laptop shoved it off again. Move your mouse every Sable. now and then. Disable the alarms with, with an EMP and blow the safe. Are you talking about a robber, you two? <laughs> Why don't we just blow up the side entrance, blow up the alarms, and blow up the safe? I don't think you understand how that works. Because we only have so much C4, Damien. That sounds like a personal problem. What's this thing? Damien points at a at a kosher dill pickle in front of the vault labeled Police Ogre. That's the police ogre. He's got all eyes all the way around his head, never sleeps, doesn't take bribes, and is invincible in combat. Can we blow him up? No, we cannot blow him up. We need to find a way around him. Well, I'm out of ideas. Yo, guy, we'll cut we'll cut you in on the heist if you could solve this ogre problem for us. Luckily, you're a heist mastermind. Before Vera or Damien can react, you... Eat the pickle. <laughs> Quick in the flash, you stash a pickle off the table and bite it in half. Yes! Success! Suck it, ogre! That doesn't actually solve the... <laughs> Look, Vera! Now the path to the boss clear. We can blow it open and walk out with the cash. But the ogre is still there. The map doesn't lie, Vera. I see no ogre. Fine. Why don't you two just rob the bank then? I'll focus on my illegal drug trade. You're happy to share a romantic heist with Davy, and together you eat the actual ogre just like you do, just like you ate the pickle. And everyone knows police ogres are the ultimate, uh, aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac. Thank you. I learned about that word the other day. Fun fact. I knew about that for a while, but I keep forgetting how it's pronounced. Everyone choose an animal. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not losing this time. <laughs> we already know what the problem is gonna be, too. <laughs> Hamster. What are you gonna choose? Hamster. Oh, come on. Oh! Based on how likely it is for human- Cat. <laughs> <laughs> they already took over the world. They already took <laughs> over the Service. fucking world. They took over the internet, correction. I took okay, over everything. Yeah. Where's my stats? I can't see that. Uh, smartness 7, boldness 5, creativity 4, charm 7, fun 8, money 7. So, what do I need more of, do you think? Creativity. Think fun. Or fun. Yeah. Because but creativity is four. But yeah, fun would be poly, so. Fun? Yep. Off we go. Oh, that day. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demon from Nightmare Dimension. The consequences might destroy the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You're getting plus two fun. Yo. You notice Polly staring at her phone with an uncharacteristic intensity. She usually looks much happier sorting through dick pics. Better investigate. Hey, boo. That is adorable. <laughs> also, look at her jacket. That's a nice jacket. Is, I could see that you wearing that. Jacket. I probably would. Oh, hey, Boo. I was just checking out information on possible afterlives. Like, I'm not going to spend my time as a high school student for all eternity. Who does that? 
be surprised. <laughs> I collected some pamphlets from various lives, and I'm looking into the pros and cons of each again. Mm. It's just such a big decision, you know? I mean, this could affect the rest of my afterlife. To be fair, since she's a ghost in the high school, doesn't that mean she's already spent most of her afterlife here? Yeah. <sighs> Do you know anyone who went into any of these afterlives? Which afterlife are you into? Oh boy. I'm not helping with this one because I have no idea. I have no idea either. Just go with the top one because that's probably. You cut out. Top one. Yes! Oh so my fun. god! Yes! The most yes! The maximum yes possible! The yesest! It's amazing because you know what the biggest complaint about kittens is? That they're perfect, adorable balls of fluffy cuteness armed with tiny knives on their paws! Which they have no problem jabbing into people with absolutely no notice. That is fact. My four cats always scratch me and then it puffs out because I'm allergic to cats. <coughs> I just spray with disinfectant and I'm fine. It's nothing serious. <coughs> I mean, yeah, the scratch puffs up, but still. Don't listen to this one on following cat allergies. <laughs> Don't listen to me if you have cat allergies, but I'm just used to it. You know who can't feel the pain of tiny kitten claws? <laughs> Ghost bitches! I can literally roll around on a cloud of kittens and feel nothing except for tiny fluffy softness. No fear of claws. I'm definitely going to work on my essay for Cloud Kitten World. Maybe something along the lines of, why well, deserve to sell local cats because of that one time I pity fucked a were panther. Oh my god! I was gonna say- that does not shock me. I mean it doesn't shock me either, but that's like all these specific. Also, I was gonna say- honest. I was also gonna say that, uh, they c the claws may not affect her, but they could affect her clothes. I don't think she'd mind that. <clears throat> Fair I enough. Know, I certainly wouldn't. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Maybe I can get you to write my letter of recommendation, Ren. <laughs> Fingers and tiny furry paws crossed that I get in and hope to see you there one day. Did, did Polly just say that she hopes you die? Oh, if it's to reunite with her, I guess that's probably fine. Aren't you dying to take her to Monster Prom? Hey. You, get, <laughs> you gain that terrible joke to use later when she recount- When recounting the story, as well as plus two creativity and plus one charm. Alright. Alright. I just realized, in his picture, there's a small smile. <laughs> for one of the ghost guys. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go library. What's up? Hey, last night I read this article on how much money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Me too. Oh yeah, and it, you could you actually get this. Yeah, I saw that. I'm getting this. See you later. No, you suck. I need that boldness, fuck you. You probably romance the shopkeeper by um buying all her stuff. Probably, but how the fuck do you get so much money? Let's do this! Going to the library literally every day. On Saturday night, you, you're you at a cool pizza place that cooks pizza on, in a real pizza oven. Little did you expect that the chef opens the oven to get your pizza. Damien appears from the f- <laughs> Yeah, my, that sounds about it, right. That's my boy! How does that work? Can he teleport to fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make a kick-ass entrance? Ah, oh, the mystery. That would be a Ladder. fucking- Badass That's entrance. the ladder. That's the ladder. <laughs> I can guarantee that. My dude, I fucking hate needing people's help, but I might need yours. Don't let it get to your head or I'll stab you so I don't owe you anything. Enough threats. Here's the deal, fuckhead. I might or may not feel attracted by your buddy Kai. Look at his blush. <laughs> I know, it's adorable. You know the one. Always making absurd choices, being equal parts stupidly sexy and sexily stupid and with that nice booty. Damn. But I don't wanna <laughs> <laughs> But I don't wanna get my feelings hurt by rushing into love without proper judgment. My dad's always say if you love someone, shoot them and see what happens. Great fatherly advice, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust me with any weapons. Thing is, principal 
Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law seem to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not very legal. They have strongly recommended that I, that, that all I do, uh, I that can't I do either, all that. That I do all that, what they call a theoretical level, like imagining the whole thing. But imagining is for losers, and since both, since you both know Kai and are mm. losers yourself, I thought you could tell me, what would Kai do if I were to shoot her? You're gonna hook me up, right? Yeah. <laughs> better, because I wouldn't have chosen the bottom one. Whoa, that's convenient. I have the feeling dating me can increase someone's chances of getting shot or stabbed. You don't. Or both. <laughs> or both. You don't get to be as big as an asshole as me without making some enemies along the way. I would feel bad if my loved one was to get shot because of me, but knowing Kai is so into getting shot is a relief. I fucking hate guilt. Okay, it seems my heart is in being a drunk idiot this time. I might be on to something. Nice. But what about when you made your entrance in the pizza oven? Did you, like, ruin the pizza? Because I gotta say, Damien, I love pizza. And if you ruin pizza, then that's the line right there. That's the line. <laughs> that's my standard. You ruin pizza, it's over. Oh. <laughs> and who Read knows? Read the thing. Huh? Read the thing. If she saw it. Oh. <laughs> there it is. I might add some size into my poor play if you know what I mean. <laughs> Good grief! I mean, shooting Kai before having sex with her, just to be clear. That sounds about right for you. Shut the fuck up! No! <laughs> You're welcome, Kai, both for getting you some demonic intent and for the blood loss you're about to experience. You had too much blood anyway. I'm <laughs> I hope nobody is upstairs. You get plus three charm. <laughs> you get plus three charm for being such a good friend. That is not where I expected that to go. <laughs> I did not either. Choose Markiplier. a Fuck. <laughs> Jack said the guy. <laughs> no, we have to choose different people. We have to choose different people. Ah, oh, come on. No, we can't just keep using that. Uh, cry. Cub Scouts. How likely is the sector person is secretly part of the cult? Both. <laughs> they both would be. <laughs> they really- They both really would be- I mean, cry. Cry babies. That's kind of a cult he accidentally did. In a way. Jay's all about that demon shit. <laughs> uh, so which, um... Random? Random. All right, oh, cry, okay, you're a cult leader. <laughs> you're welcome, cry. Uh. All right. All right. Let's see. I need money. I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with fun. Well, Damn yeah. it! That's the store. Bye. Oh. I wasted my turn. Well, let's do this. I didn't look. Good job. Good Fuck job. you. Go to the outdoors! Go to the outdoors! Damn it. <laughs> I think I have enough fun. I need more boldness. Where's the boldness from? That thing skip you. class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Guess some people want to watch the world burn. A skipping class and hang out in the bathroom. You have zero shit. I literally burned something in the bathroom stall. <laughs> but plus two boldness. You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey, baby, let's party. How can you refuse such a formal, uh, Mrs. You track her down immediately. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. I'm going to, to a party tonight, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be lame, and that needs to change. See, it's a costume party. You know where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans? I'm going as a sexy tax attorney. I can only imagine what that's like. <laughs> You good there? Uh, I'm pretty sure you know where my mind went. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can rescue this party from the depths of lameitude. So, got any ideas to help spice things up? 
Oh, you got some ideas, and they're the spiciest. I feel like the first one will be good for you. Yeah. Better than a party. <laughs> this is nuts! Look at all these humans in human costumes! Georgina the power party owlbear totally just turned into a sumo wrestler. Oh my god! <laughs> and Larry the Lich looks exactly like former United States President Abraham Lincoln. Oh, okay. Larry... Larry doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. Oh god. Oh god. Every newly transformed human at the party comes complete with a full lifetime of memories. Childhood, family, friends. They have no recollection of their lives as a monster and are all currently going insane from their cognitive dis dissonance. <laughs> Manny the Medicor just turned into a retired cop who's screaming for his estranged wife and two sons. Pranked! Alarm. Shut that. up. That was my alarm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> In the oh, meantime, God. you and Polly have a great time scaring the shit out of actual humans and streaming it online. You gain plus two creativity and one fun. Let's trade places. Pizza. Bryce, you chose pizza last time. Fine, fine, I'll choose what- I'm not looking at what it says, I'll choose, uh, burritos. How powerful an egg- I don't- I feel like an energy drink wouldn't work for either of them. No. <laughs> Random again. Random again. <laughs> Sweet. French fry energy drink it is. I kind of want to try that now. <laughs> Me too. Let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, no. Hey, look, your prince dude is up here. I know. I'm gonna. You're gonna? Yeah. Sweet. You're just about to take a bite of your sandwich with some... Douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. Sounds about right. It is I, the interdimensional prince, as I strike a pose dramatically in my chair. <laughs> I can't oh, imagine it. No, hold on, hold on a second. I can imagine him do being like fucking Metaton. Probably. But just imagine. Probably right. <laughs> just imagine him doing all of Metaton's poses when you're fighting. Oh my god, we need to do an Undertale Let's Play together sometime. Oh god. <laughs> I, I'll be down, even though we both play the game who knows how many times, or at least watched it. Anyway, continue. Hey, at least we know how, what we would be doing then. <laughs> yeah, true. Alright, I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving the most fiendish riddle for me. The riddle of... How to get my TV to switch from HD... HDMI. To HDMI 12. Two. I tried everything short of actually using the remote control. It's HDMI 2. Come on, man. <laughs> Shut up. You heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension where you solve his problem by using the remote control. You truly are both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Do I want to know what that is? Perhaps laser communion might interest you? Or reverse baptism? Or eggs? I don't want to know what eggs in fucking is. What that is. I already know what the implication is. The choice is yours. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> what do you want? Let's make up our own ritual. That one? Yeah. Ah, uh, we have a ritual with this. The ritual of making up rituals. That's why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. Sounds about right. First, we get incredibly high on interdimensional <laughs> weed. And then we pretty much do whatever we want and then make it illegal for people not to do that thing once a year. Sounds good to you. You guys get ripped and invent a holiday called Shrimp Christmas. It's Christmas, but but everyone just gets stockings full of shrimp divided by a giant shrimp. Delivered by a giant shrimp. And becomes so popular that it leaks over into your dimension where it replaces actual Christmas. If that actually happened, <laughs> I would... would die. No, I would team up with Damien and start murdering people. <laughs> I love Christmas. I love it all. I would Sorry. team up with Damien. I Sorry. would start setting some shit on fire. Sorry. And then we're put put more fire on that fire. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, Kai. You can totally sit with us. I just hope you didn't bring a gun to a bazooka fight. Yeah, we're showing off our best flask. 
Well, not the best flask, exactly. But the best content... Contents? Contents. Contents. Words. Good God, are all actual fla- Are literal actual flasks of alcohol openly a allowed in the school cafeteria? Are there no rules? Nope. <laughs> Apparently not, because Polly starts setting a series of flasks down on the table. Okay, so this is beer by W.C. Wine, whiskey, ethyl, alcohol, the soul of an infant. Ha! Wait, this is radioactic, radioactic, radioactive absentee. This is fire. I want whatever that fire is. And this is literal poor life choices. I've taken that almost every day. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was about to say that. Okay, but this one has a, uh, has another smaller flask inside. It is the ultimate flask. I feel like I'm making her sound too feminine. And whatever you, whatever floats your boat. Mm. They pro, they could probably go on like this for goddamn ever. Maybe you can cut in with the craziest thing of all. But think carefully about whom you want to impress with your flask contents. Get ready for the most hardcore badass thing. This flask contains an ancient genie that grants you three wishes, but I'm totally drinking it because I don't give a fuck. I grab my own damn wishes. Yep, you're right. Hardcore, so hardcore. You could ask for anything. Wealth, power, immortality. A free pass for teachers to ignore bad behavior forever and let you do whatever the fuck you want without supervision. But say you're gonna drink the genie? That's like you've drunk from my poor life choices flask and I love it. I didn't even know you could drink a genie. You and Damien pop open the flask and drink the genie together. It's definitely just water, but Damien seems to seems to drink so much alcohol and energy drinks that he's literally forgotten what water tastes like. Normally you say you couldn't possibly be healthy. Fuck it! He's a demon from hell. He could possibly do he could possibly do whatever. What a glorious bonding experience. Let's trade places. <laughs> Everyone choose an object. Plushie. Sup guy plushie. Bead. <laughs> <laughs> How unsexy it would be to. I Cry mean... plushie. The like, plushie. I mean... Come on. It's a they fucking sub guy. Beads. Yeah, exactly. And it's a fucking sub guy plushie. Do you have a sub guy plushie? Huh? Why do you have a sub guy plushie? I was selling it along with the calendar, and I got both of them. Oh God! It was back in 2016. Just, of course, I got just it. Go. Just <laughs> go. How could I not buy it, man? It doesn't make him anyone. Get me out of this screen before my father pops up right. and murders me. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go for actual fucking fun. Out there, dude. Reese's yeah, start. Ha sure, I was my line. You start a half hour rave that goes full crazy and you do dabs like crazy. You spot Juan the, mag the small magical Latino cat who seems to be a bit sad. Wonder if he escaped from my house. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan the small magical Latino cat that now that everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him as or in such a simplistic term and can... And, uh, coming in convenient, de convenient uh, thank you, definitions. Definition. It's just that there's, there are around 23 other different Juans in this school, so adding all of that to his name is quite necessary. I and actually knew, like, really five. <laughs> no. Well, this school, yeah. My school, nah. You tell, you tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventure you both lived together in the Monster Prom prequel, Monster Middle School. I hope they make that. <laughs> you know they won't. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. You notice Damien and Miranda squatting on the grass, poking something with a stick. I always fail this one. You rush over, hoping for a dead possum, but instead you find them gathered around in a tiny metropolis. Fucking metal! Check this shit out. It's our kingdom. I call it Smalltopia. A tiny voice from the shitty city shouts up at you. Eh, shouts up at you. It's called West P Pemberley. And we're not a monarchy. I was gonna print it with a magnifying glass, but I'm happy Miranda stopped me. It's good to be king. The tiny voice in the city says, We vote for our leaders in the bananical elections. 
We are facing a quandary. How to boost our kingdom's struggling economy. Yeah, the whole place has been facing the economic recession ever since a pigeon stole the hospital to build its nest. The tiny voice says, That red guy stole the hospital and lied about it. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm used to managing kingdoms that are significantly larger and much more underwater. I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Yeah. Hey, how about being our royal advisor? The pay shit, but you can take whatever buildings you want. Hey, says the tiny voice. <sighs> See, I don't remember. What, I never remember what I need for this. I always fail. <laughs> Did you choose both options before? No, I've only chosen the bottom one. Because <laughs> that one's 100% Damien. I'm going again. Okay, well, smart. See, Miranda, this is exactly what I've been telling you. The best solution is usually violence related. You truly are wise, Damien. Very well. To war! The three of you instigate a war with the ants by leaving a trail of syrup between Tvaltopia and the ant hill. The tiny city is soon devoting its entire infrastructure to, to combating the formatic methods. They build barricades, train troops, and construct missile silos. By the end of the period, they bombed the ants back to the Stone Age with tiny, adorable nuclear weapons. Uh... Oh. Look at them, hey. going off to war and destroying people. <laughs> What's it that Mushu says? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. The Dricky Fountain will be radioactive forever, but Smalltopia's new military industrial complex really has revolutionized its comedy. Revitalized. You gain plus one bonus and plus two money as a bonus for your new permanent position as Smalltopia Defense Council. Let's do this! And here we go. Alright, let's see. I have pretty high in everything except smarts and boldness. So I guess off to class. You nerd. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity activity in this high school. You yep. gain plus two smarts. On your way out, you spot Polly still wearing the lab coat she stole from the human party the other night. She takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Hi. Yo, yo, yo! That human party convinced me I want to be a scientist, but not just any kind, a party scientist. What's a party scientist, you ask? Why, just a scientist who's dedicated to discovering the secret to the raddest party. Through a series of extremely scientific experiments, I aim to discover what truly makes a party good. So I can distill whatever it is into a vial and drink it. Don't think what? that's a good idea. Or, you know, just have really dope parties all the time. Anyway, I'm going to a bar mitzvah tonight, and I need your scientific advice. What can we do to push this party over the edge? Uh... Oof. I don't I know. Am, I am at a loss here. Well, this is your choice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Chemistry. Better than night. Yes! I've done it! I had to tear the heart out of an atomic bomb, but I've done it! What? I've isolated the element party. Party Rium. The life of the party! Okay. Now to slip the solution into the bar mitzvah's water supply. The effects are instantaneous. All around you boys are becoming men. Men are becoming party animals! And not just all around the bar, Natalia, all around the city! The bar, the side of water supply was also in the city's water supply. You party so hard, you can't. You cause serious damage to the local infrastructure. Mayor Grim Reaper declares the next day National Hangover Day. <laughs> Whoa. What just happened? Oh, wait. I remember. Science! Chemical warfare has never been so fun. You gain plus two fun and plus one smart. Oh dear. The starry eyes, though. <laughs> Damn it. All right. It's your turn to play. All right. You're play engaging in your favorite weekend maker. activity. Ignoring anything in favor of thinking about which classmate you like to take the prom and how horny you are. 
<laughs> when you <laughs> shut up. When you find that when you find out that this is apparently reading on your face. Hey Kai. Oh, God. You seem pretty horny. <laughs> and like someone who sits around all day thinking about who you're going to take to prom. Wow, does she have your number or what? Yes. <laughs> Listen, I'm kinda interested in someone, but honestly, don't think I could be with any monster who isn't spectacular at sex. Oh god. I mean, at least she has her priorities. Gotta give her that. I know sex isn't everything, but it's sort of everything to me. Not really, but it's pretty high on my list of priorities. Eh? <laughs> Sorry if this is TMI. What does that say? Titillating. <laughs> Titillating monster interaction. But it's someone you know, so I thought you might have some insight. It's, uh, Ren. I just love sex. Any position, missionary, clergy, apocalyptic, upside You might want to whisper when you say that. <laughs> you might want to whisper as you say that. I'm trying my best. <laughs> what do you think? Could Ren keep up with me? Don't dick me over. <laughs> I'm just I'm just reading the bottom line. Ren? Orgasm? OMG. are totally right. I never even noticed that before. Like, actually, it still makes no sense to me, but I'm going to assume that's because I'm high and it's super legit on the level. When aren't you high? That's a question. True. You seem to know your letters and words. I'm sure it'll make sense once I sober up. <laughs> Red invented the orgasm, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am a fan of going straight to the source. I only buy opium from the dude who first discovered it. Being dead rocks. It sure does, does it? Meh. More, meh. Important thing is Ren, aka Orgasm, totally owes you one. Not one orgasm, just a general one. You know what I mean. Oh, and you're getting plus three fun. Sweet. Let's trade places. Choose a movie. Uh. Wreck It Ralph. That's a good one. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. How idiotic would it to do a 10 hour remake of selected movie? I don't know. Both are really good <laughs> movies. And a 10 hour remake, I would kind of be interested in both of them. True. Like, how can they prolong. Like, I can imagine kind of for how Pirates of the Caribbean it would be. Yeah. But Wreck It Ralph, I have no idea. I am honestly too tired at this point to really know. So what do we do? Random. Random. Let the void decide. Void says fuck you, Ren. <laughs> it's almost okay. time. That day while rehearsing for a class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. Well, you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines. And it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something, since half of your improvision is rap battle against your inner fears. You gain plus two creativity. You go up to the light booth to see how Polly and Dean are doing. Lame. Lame. That's how we're doing. If I'd known they stick me up here just cause I missed auditions to go to that monster truck rally, I still would have gone to that monster truck rally. But I would have gotten there nine more. F I would have gotten in like nine more fights while I was there. Why did I have to be on so many cool drugs during casting? I thought the lights were butterflies and I just wanted to play with them. That's all in the past now. As long as we're here, I guess we better make the most of it, best of it, by fucking with Liam. But he's so hard to mess with. He's like really good at acting. Come on. Between the three of us, I'm sure there's something we can do to make him forget his lines. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to do rocket launcher. I kind I would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Thanks for reminding me about this rocket launcher. I always carry you around. Why do you Why? carry a rocket Why? launcher? Why? And where can I get one? <laughs> Damien fires no. a rocket at the stage just as Leo makes his entrance. I'm sorry, oh, no. I can't stop laughing. It doesn't kill anyone. 
It doesn't kill anybody because all the actors are already undead, but it sure makes them forget their lines. After this show, a talent agent approaches the three of you while starring in a new reality show. It's nice. called Pranked with the Rocket Launcher. Looks like you've got a career ahead of you in showbiz. You're getting two money and one fun. Let's do this! Nice. Hell yeah. Let's, uh, let's hide out in the bathroom some more. Hide in bathroom? Hide in the bathroom. Ah. Uh, that day you skip class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way. Of Who course. the fuck run security here? Anyway, you subdue them more. with the help of your hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathroom, you've totally came to boldness. Suddenly, you smell the distinct odor of rotten eggs, nail polish remover, and chocolate syrup. Polly. This can only mean one thing. You kick open the you kick open the door to start hey. flying. Yo, what's up? Did you come to try my latest batch of toilet wine? <laughs> <laughs> my normal tasting group isn't here yet. Probably because they're all dead. I've never let that stop me from getting drunk though. So it's really no excuse. You know, I, s I expected my toilet wine to be a lot more popular at this school. I mean, I'm selling wine at a high school. You'd think kids would be lined up around the block. You probably make shitty wine, just saying. <laughs> Literally. But my only repeat customers are a couple of homeless dudes and Barry the masochistic swamp monster. And you. You're here to try too, right? No? Oh, then you must be here to help me with marketing. Come on, help me figure out how to make Polly's totally legit toilet wine a success. Pour it in people's mouths while they're sleeping. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great idea. Once people have had a taste of Polly's toilet wine, they'll be craving more. I'm pretty sure that's gonna drown them. <laughs> Literally, I put heroin in this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Good thing I bought this medical grade funnel for the funnel party last weekend. Let's get pouring. You and Polly spend all night together, pouring various liquids into sleeping people's mouths. You sort of forget about the wine and start pouring all kinds of things. It's not much of a marketing campaign after all. But you know what they say. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey and pouring things into strangers' mouths. You gain plus two fun and plus one creativity. Let's try places. Let's try places. <laughs> Choose a brand. Uh... MSI. Microsoft. <laughs> okay. How silly a mascot for the... Oh, MSI would have a badass one, though. Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, Microsoft. Because MSI's thing is a dragon. A fucking dragon. That's badass. Not silly. Come on, let's get going. Yeah. Let's do this! Alright. Oh, yep. who are you gonna do? Oh no. You gonna do Space Boy or you gonna do your Ghost Wife? I'll do Ghost Wife. Ghost Since Wife? I'm probably not gonna get Space Prince. <laughs> probably. I feel like you have to somehow manage to get him at all times. Yeah. You find Vera and Polly at their table, deep in conversation. Alright, business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. <sighs> Business idea. People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. Hmm. Business idea. Price out the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. <laughs> Business idea. Nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Just nipples? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, business idea! Use clever marketing and food size to create the perfect new diet craze and sell it for an insane profit! Huh? That's actually a really good idea. Better than nipples? Yes. We just need to figure out what our new diet product would be. Oh my god. 
This is all you. Meth, it's what's for lunch. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! You know, I was just complaining the other day that I made my more, way more mess than I could ever do myself. I highly doubt that, but whatever. <laughs> the profit margin will be incredible. Pop is the name. Meth already has a terrible reputation. You need a rebrand. <laughs> you mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder? Or probably not meth? Yes, except not either of those. <sighs> ooh, ooh, I know. I've got the perfect name. Don't say it. Nipples! Oh. Kill me. I'm with you. But it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. Polly makes a killing and drug dealing turns to be a very romantic bonding experience for the two of you. Alright! Alright! Have fun with Miranda. You come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's <laughs> elaborate silverware while spread while her- yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, knives only look that deadly. Silly boy, that's so worse not for killing. I hate saying these lines again. <laughs> you want me to just... Nah, fuck it. These things can be... Nah, just say normal, then. These can be yeah. for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. Basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your surfs do it for you. Well, of course they do. <laughs> but they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Surfs must eat with their hands as benefits of the lower classes. So your seen silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things of practical purposes? These two could go round and round like this forever unless you say something and resolve this dispute. Have fun. <laughs> Murder people. I mean, you, I mean, I was just giving a ship. I'm in favor of any plan that gets more people murdered. Oh, how barbaric. Are you sure that's the right thing to do? Yep, 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> well, alright then. Yum yum. Daisy. Take the sharpest of these silver knives in your filthy peasant hands and go and murder him, will you? I, can we just- I don't think we acknowledge it, but can we just acknowledge that one is named Yum Yum? I wonder why. <laughs> I don't want to know. I was kind of hoping you would do the murdering yourself. If we were living in an age wherein a lady can't outsource her senseless murders to her servants, I don't know what the world is coming to. Fair enough. As long as the murders get done, I guess I don't care. Miranda even outsources the silverware, some silverware murder to you and Damien as a team. Really brings you closer to each other. Let's trade places. Let's trade places. Occupy YouTuber. Therapist. Martin and Luigi are plumbers. Play orders to say how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be, who aside from saving Kingdom are also for me, YouTuber for you, therapist. I think YouTuber would be fucking hilarious. I think both would be hilarious and like. I the, think like... you. I think no. The reason I think YouTuber because you know those fucking obnoxious type of YouTubers, you know. Yeah. That are like, that just ma make vlogs but are going nuts, over exaggerating, be just being obnoxious. That, basically. They would be that. I have a feeling like I could just I see mean, that. It would just be like the mundaneness. Which is yeah. even more hilarious in and of itself. Yeah, and if they come across the enemy and they're vlogging or what, some shit, they just get decked. And they still upload it, but like with a clickbait title. 100% YouTuber. Yeah. Alright, week right, three evening. Alright. Alright. I need charm. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. The match is so intense, and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes by betting part of your charm against the against part of the other team's leader's charm. The okay. commitment amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. We are suddenly in Undertale, and this is not Frisk. <laughs> Finally, you win and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a I bit mean, less fabulous. I mean, we don't know <laughs> if it's not Frisk. Point. Point. You're daydreaming about how Damien will look walking down the aisle towards you. When you yeah. see Damien walking down the aisle, hallway, towards you. Yo, so listen, don't be uncool about this, I'm making a big thing, but I think you're pretty rad. Like, maybe even as rad as I am. 
swear that it might be sweet if you could, you know. Flush his back. So adorable. Do some crime together. Would you be into that? I mean, could you even fucking handle that? Um, yes, of course you could, and would, and should. What kind of crime are you into these days? Quick, suggest the most badass and romantic crime for an excellent date with Davia. Dinner and a movie, only a dinner is arson, and the movie is also arson. So, well, arson and arson? That sounds like my kind of night. Damien picks you up and presents you with a bank with a bouquet of matches and lighters, which you blush and happily accept. That is so cute. <laughs> that is actually freaking cute. <laughs> you smile dreamily as Damien pulls you out of your chair for you, and then set. Oh, Damien, sorry. And <laughs> pulls out your chair for you and then sets it on fire. He confidently ordered off the menu for both of you before setting both menus on fire. After a delicious meal, the two of you flirtedly squabble over whose who's absolute pleasure it would be to pick up the check as the flames rage high all around you. Ready to head for more arson? Heck yeah you are! The two of you head to see to a movie, immediately setting your ticket stubs on fire. Poof. You take <laughs> you take your seats, set the row in front of you on fire. You talk through the previews as the flames leap higher and higher, bathing you in a romantic glow. Oh. Shit's getting hot in here, literally. <laughs> it's the hottest day of all time in so, so many ways. Hey, I really had a really nice night tonight. The only thing better than arson was the more arson. Is he actually blushing or is that just the heat from all the so much arson? Oh my oh. fucking god. <laughs> this day was literal fire. But no. Like, actual literal fire. You gain plus two channel plus one boldness. Let's do this! I have so much boldness. I need more fun. Back into the forest. You do not need more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that right now. I that need more fun. <laughs> what are you saying? That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. On points... Juan, the small magical Latino cat, slips on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal plus two fun from him. Hooray! But none of that matters. You're late You're late to meet Polly for more party experiments. Alright, our research is progressing well so far, but we've got a very limited sample size. I need to know that we can make any party the best, not just some parties. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna crash a funeral. Oh my god. We can make god. that fun. We can make anything fun. No, don't do that, Polly. <laughs> so, brainstorm time. How can we put the fun back in fun neural? <laughs> but I'm. Um, Duh, the top one. So fun. Later that night. Awesome. I was totally inside that dude. And then they were like, does anyone else want to say a few words? And I was like, oh, me. They totally freaked out. And then I was like, let's turn this funeral into a wedding. And I got married to like 11 people who are all widows now because I left that dude in a heap on the dance floor. But whatever, weddings rule. Hey, Ren, you know what? I think we're getting really close to the true formula for a rad party. You're the best science partner I've ever had. You guess she hasn't had lots of science partners. You just doubt she knows what the real definition of science, but she's just too happy for you to correct her now. Come on, the night's still young. Let's go turn an all-night laundromat into an epic grave. Those washing machines didn't know I hit them. You're getting plus two creativity and plus one fun. Foster prom draws me here. Here we go. Don't fuck again. this up! Hi, noob. Uh, Hi, noob. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I probably will. Hey, boo. Yep. <sighs> oh, right. fail, I think. Pick up your courage, ask Prom? I guess we, we can get so waste that we end up burning stuff down, right? Sounds like a rad day to <gasps> me. Oh my god! Let's burn stuff to the- Let's burn stuff down together to Let's dawn. The world yes! Fair, <laughs> prom was great. You crashed, you crashed your limbo into the wall of the school and it was the best entrance ever! Everybody had a great time dancing under the lovely light of a car on fire. Let's do this! Hell to the yes! What? What? Pro no, that's me! What? Prom? 
Of course! Come on, oh. another perfect opportunity to conduct our experiments in party science! So clever of you. That's why you're the best science partner. Yeah! Yes. That's not what you meant. But sure, why not? So now that expected problem is here, and the two of you finally are finally ready to crack the ultimate party formula. You set free some wild animals, you do lots of ecstasy, you awaken the dead, you even do a Sounds dance of right. joy. Oh god. Everything is perfect. You feel floaty and full of energy. You see beautiful sh shiny lights, and you feel connected to everyone. I think I'm dying. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to say, see beautiful shiny lights, I think you're going to... You're, getting lifted up there <laughs> obviously the most of that is thanks to the ecstasy but still you feel like you've conquered the night and put a flag with your names on the peak of itself then dawn comes by now you're still on the hill by the sea watching the sun coming up no idea how you got there but who cares i think this is a secret ending yeah you're at peace watching the gentle tide of the morning these endings? i don't know when you realize potty has never had has her hand over yours. She looks You're at you. You're the perfect party, boo. Oh, <laughs> you know what, Ren? This might actually, this might be the Molly talking, but I think I finally got it. All these parties have been wildly different, yet all of them have been the very best. Put a lot of thought into it, and I could only think of one thing they had in common. I think the formula to a perfect party must be sharing it with the right people. You don't answer. You just hold her hand as you as you spend the morning watching the sun slowly coming up and over the sea together. Yep, yeah, one new secret ending. How do I end up getting the secret endings? I don't know. Okay, most likely to become sure. lasagna. <laughs> okay, that's the thing that happened. And I guess that's the end of this video. Yeah, well, for your credits, but still, I finally got what Dan. <laughs> And Finally. you got with Pop. You got. That's your second secret ending. Hey, I got two wives. <laughs> Damien and Scott teamed up and took second in National Pokemon Tag Tournament. The crowd was amazed. Their Pokemon team did taxes as if there was no tomorrow. That was a thing of beauty. Polly graduated doing lots of. Ani. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now she appears to people hallucinating to act as their spirit animal. Fear kept being fierce, strong, and stunning. Some haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in her place. But you know what? Fear end up making adult life her little bitch. Sounds we should all right. strive to do that. And during those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life. And then it was gone, just like that. Battle of Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in the war called youth. Once again, we were all young and unafraid. We were and ready we to were start. ready to start. <laughs> and now we're done with that. <laughs> I uh, love I this game. That's about it for today. <laughs> yeah. But I love this game. some more in the future. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> eh, who knows. <laughs> and hey, who knows? Maybe look out for an Undertale video in the future, too. Maybe. I've been thinking about it. But okay. I guess that's it for now, then, huh? Yeah, but hold can we just reflect about the fact that... You to get that, you somehow... This is not only your second secret <laughs> ending, but it was about doing parties and doing drugs. <laughs> Mine was just natural, even though it was a bomb-ass prom with me and Damien. Oh my god, Paul. And it- <laughs> And if prom was actually like that, then oh I god. definitely would have gone. Fucking Slayer right there. Leave them alone! <laughs> uh. I'm going to prom this, this this weekend, so that's gonna be interesting. Have fun with that. Oh god, I don't even have a date, because my date wasn't able to buy a prom ticket. Aw. Too bad prom will never be as great as this. Probably not. You know but it anyway. won't. But anyway. <laughs> that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Oh, I love this game so much, as I said. If you guys like the video, leave a like, show your support, subscribe to see more videos. Holly good, water bad. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, prepare to bring chaos and destruction to this realm. It's party time. Ooh, I like that. Well, guess we gotta look for that in the next episode. In a future episode, so we can afford it. Yeah, as I say, subscribe to see more videos, hit that bell button for notification because YouTube is stupid. 
<laughs> See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Peace.